Yep, you seen the title in the thumbnail, and you already know you can't go wrong with some crispy fried chicken, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make it extra crispy with this Korean fried chicken. Y'all ready? Get to your kitchen, let's go. All right, let's do a quick rundown of what we have. So back here we have our chicken here. We have some flour, this is plain white flour. We have our cornstarch here, some Cajun seasoning, sugar, bacon powder in this dish, along with some Korean chili flakes here, black pepper, ground ginger, more bacon powder. We have some already seasoned chicken fry mix right here. Garlic powder, onion powder. We have some chicken broth here, more Cajun seasoning, more sugar, onion powder and garlic powder, and we have some water right here. So, no, it seems like a lot, guys, but it's gonna go by real quick. Let's get to it. So to get started, we're gonna prepare our chicken. We're gonna add our water here, onion powder and garlic powder, sugar and Cajun seasoning, and we're gonna go in with our hands and get that mixed up. All right, now we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes at room temperature while we prepare the remaining of our ingredients, all right? Next, we're gonna make our dry flour mix by adding our flour right here, our cornstarch, Cajun seasoning. Now guys, if you wanna add salt, you can add salt, that works too. I like Cajun seasoning when I'm frying chicken more than just regular salt. Our sugar, ginger powder and black pepper, garlic powder and onion powder, bacon powder and Korean chili flakes. And all we're gonna do is just get at a mix like that. Just like that, guys, we're gonna sit that aside and continue. Now we're gonna make our wet better by adding our seasoned flour mix here, our cornstarch, and our chicken broth. And we're gonna get that mixed up like this. And we're gonna sit this aside until we're ready to start frying our chicken. All right, so now we're gonna start flouring and battering our chicken. So we're gonna take our chicken pieces, we're gonna dump them in our dredge here. And I, I just created a little bit more dredge thought I'd need some more based on what I was, you know, how many chicken pieces I had. And I didn't want to run out. Shake as much of that dredge off like this. Add your chicken over here. It's our flour. And use your other dry hand. Make sure you get that baby fully coated. If you got to press down on it, press down on it. Like this. And we're going to sit this baby right over here on our rack. While we allow our or to come up to temperature. We wanted it to come up to 335 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest and we're gonna come back. All right, so now that we have all our chicken breaded, we're gonna move over to our stove where our frying pan and the oil is heating up to 330 degrees. Somewhere between 330 and 340 is where you want it. And that's when we're gonna start dropping our chicken pieces in there. So let's move over to our frying pan. All right, so it looks like our oil is up to temperature. We're gonna start dropping these babies in here. And we're gonna let these cook for about four to five minutes. You wanna make sure you keep your oil around 335 degrees. Now, if you have to turn them over, turn the chicken pieces over, but if you can have them deep fried, make sure you put enough oil in the pot for you, in the pan for you to deep fry them. All right, so we're coming up on five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and remove these, sit them on here on a resting rack while we finish the remaining of our chicken. Now let's take a look at that. We're not through yet now. Sit that right there. Make sure we get our oil back up to where it's supposed to be. All right, we're gonna start dropping our chicken pieces again. All right guys, so we're finishing up on our last batch. We're gonna start removing these, adding them to our resting rack that I have here. And now we're gonna move over to our cutting board real quick just to see what we have. And we're gonna crank up the heat on our oil to 350 because we're gonna do a double fry, all right? All right, so this is what we have after the first fry. Now we're gonna head back over to our stove so we can start dropping these for our second fry for another, you know, three to five minutes until they're cooked all the way through and extra crispy. So now what I've done is I've changed pans out and add a little bit more grease to it because I wanna deep fry these babies for the last 
three to five minutes until they're extra crispy. I don't want to have to keep flipping them over. We just want to stick them in there, move them around every now and then just to make sure we get it uh, even cooked and we get those babies extra crispy. All right, so now this is coming up to temperature. As soon as it gets up to 350, we're gonna start dropping our chicken pieces in the grease. All right guys, so our oil is ready. We're gonna start dropping our chicken pieces back in our oil for our second fry. And we're gonna cook these about another three to five minutes until they're cooked all the way through. You also wanna cook these in batches too. And guys, you know when these babies will be ready when they start rising to the top. That's, that's how you can tell they wasn't fully cooked already because they all went straight to the bottom. And I like to keep moving mine around because I don't want them to overcook just on one side. All right, guys, so it looks like we're good. We're going to move these babies out, man. Take a look at that. That's what we're looking for. We're going to put these babies right, right here on this resting rack, and we're going to sit these in our warmer as we continue to cook the remaining of our chicken, all right? All right, let's get that last batch out of here. Guys, right, look at that, man. These babies are crispy. We're going to add these to our wired rack. And now we're just gonna head over to our cutting board because there's nothing left to do for our final presentation. And there you have it, Korean fried chicken. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's go ahead, jump in the quality control so we can test the crispiness of this chicken, all right? It's quality control, you already know. Guys, look at those groceries right there. These are groceries. All right, let's go ahead and grab us one of these groceries. Mm. Oh man, take a look at that, crispy. Mm. Mm. Oh man, y'all already know, y'all hit a crunch. Mm. Yo guys, it's lunch time, ready to eat, so. Make sure you add this one to your things to cook. And until then, y'all already know I am. All wings, everything. And remember, I'm not a chef. Just cook a lot. And I'm out. Peace. Mm, mm, mm.